Hello dear friends, this is Hello Hollywood. That means you're in for some exciting news. Let's get started. Taylor Swift appears to be taking a major swipe at her nemesis, Kim Kardashian, in one of her songs from her new album. That's what the internet thinks anyway, for good reason. Taylor's latest record, The Tortured Poets Department, dropped Friday, and there's a song on there called Thank You Amy, which everyone noticed has certain capitalization that spells out Kim's name. The lyrics themselves also seem to allude directly to Kim Kardashian. Taylor's lyrics describe AI Me as a bronze spray tan statue in her hometown that threatens to push me down the stairs at our school. At another point, Taylor spits out, All that time you were throwing punches, I was building something, and I can't forgive the way you made me feel. Screaming, bloody hell, Amy, the night sky, while the blood whipped around. But I can't forget the way you made me heal. Taylor even seems to allude to her own mother, Andrea Swift, who wanted Amy dead. The bigger clue, though, that she's talking about Kim lies in a line about this Amy and her kids, whom Taylor says will be singing her songs one day, including this one. The reason that's telling is because North has already done that, posting videos on the shared TikTok she has with Kim and singing to one of Taylor's most famous songs. Taylor even seems to allude to her own mother, Andrea Swift, who wanted Amy dead. The bigger clue though that she's talking about Kim lies in a line about this Amy and her kids, whom Taylor says will be singing her songs one day, including this one. The reason that's telling is because North has already done that, posting videos on the shared TikTok she has with Kim and singing to one of Taylor's most famous songs. Of course, the bigger takeaway here is that if this is indeed about Kim, Taylor isn't over their years-long feud which dates back to 2016 when Kanye West was still in the mix. You're probably well familiar with the whole famous saga, and Taylor hasn't forgotten either. In fact, it was obvious she was still holding a grudge from her interview last year, when she said she never received an apology from Kim, and suggested she should get one even now. That's all dear friends, share this video, and leave your comments. Bye bye.